Why does it seem like everyone has more money than you? Nowadays, it's common to feel like others have more money. Seeing fancy cars, big houses, and fancy meals at posh restaurants can make you feel like you're not good enough and confused. It makes you wonder: Do other people know some secret way to make money while you're left clueless? Meanwhile, you find yourself diligently working, residing in a rented apartment, driving a modest used car, and managing to scrape by with just enough income. So, what sets you apart from the rest? Do they really have more money than you, or are they just pretending? Does everyone have more money than you? Here's the blunt truth: Lots of people have more money than you do. Many people handle their money smartly, invest regularly, and make a lot of money every year. However, does everyone surpass you in wealth? Not necessarily. Even though you might think rich-looking people have a lot of money, some of them actually have less money than you do. Allow me to elaborate. A crucial distinction exists between having money and spending money. As you probably know, you don't have to be rich to spend money. Actually, many people who show off fancy cars, clothes, or homes like yours have paid for them by borrowing money. They've either acquired loans or utilized credit cards, effectively indebting themselves to others. So they're actually just owing a lot of money. It's important to remember that borrowed money inevitably requires repayment. So to address the initial query, why does it seem like everyone has more money than you? Honestly. A lot of people are good at pretending to be rich by spending money they don't really have. They're really good at making it look like they're rich. The illusion of wealth. This is the concept of living a fancier life than they can afford to make it seem like they're rich. It's a risky way to live because it could all fall apart at any time. Warren Buffett put it nicely when he said, "You find out who is swimming naked when the tide goes out." Basically, he's saying that spending more than you have lets you look rich to others, but it won't last. When things go wrong, like if the economy gets bad or lots of people lose their jobs and can't pay their bills, the illusion falls apart, and you end up broke and really needing help. So, why do so many people pretend to be rich nowadays? It can be attributed to the following two factors. The first factor is nearly unlimited opportunities to borrow money. When people want to buy things they can't afford, like fancy shoes or a luxury car, they often borrow money to get them. So when people can easily borrow money to buy things they can't really afford, it's easy for them to look like they're rich. The second factor is the social media. If you often think other people are richer than you, social media might be making you see things that way. Think about it. How often do you see someone talking online about their marriage problems caused by having too much debt? Rarely, if ever. Also, would you keep paying attention to someone who won't stop bragging about the old CD player in their 12-year-old car? Probably not for long. No doubt, social media is a fun break from everyday life, and there are lots of interesting people to follow. However, It's essential to bear in mind that most people showcase only the finest, most extravagant aspects of their lives online. If you spend too much time on social media, you might start thinking everyone else is richer than you, even if it's just pretend. The truth about money. If you think everyone else has more money than you, listen carefully to what I'm saying. Just because someone lives fancier than you doesn't mean they're richer. In today's world, it's more likely they're actually just in a lot of debt. Just like a duck looks calm on the water, they might seem calm, but they're probably struggling to manage their money underneath it all. Interestingly, people who have a lot of money live simple lives and don't spend too much. Even though they don't show off with expensive cars or big houses, if you look closer, you might find out they have a lot of money passed down through their family. Stop comparing your finances to others. The more you compare your money to other people's, the more you might feel unsure about how much you have. Honestly, does it really matter how much money other people have in comparison to you? Furthermore, does focusing on it yield any positive outcomes? Anchoring your financial contentment to the circumstances of those around you is a draining pursuit that offers no real benefit to your well-being. Instead, it only invites misery into your life. 
Given this perspective, perhaps it's time to shift your focus away from the financial situations of others and redirect your energy towards enhancing your own financial standing. Improving your financial situation. One of the best ways to stop feeling like you don't have enough money is to focus on making your own money situation better. Basically, will it really matter how much money your friends make when you have a lot of savings and no debt? I don't think so. So, how can you start improving your money situation while not worrying about what others have? Here are some actionable steps I recommend. First, set financial goals. Financial goals serve as the cornerstone of wealth building. Without clear goals to strive toward, how can you measure your progress or find cause for celebration? Before getting into all the details of your money, take the time to identify at least three financial goals. Your first goal should be short-term, achievable within the next year. For instance, a worthwhile short-term objective might involve saving $1,000 within the coming month or paying off a specific credit card balance entirely. The second goal should be of medium length, spanning between one and five years. These could be things like saving up for a house, getting enough money to buy your next car without a loan, or starting to invest so you have $100,000 in five years. As for the third goal, focus on retirement planning. Define a specific savings target you aim to achieve by the age of 60, whether it's $2 million or $10 million. This is something you'll keep working on and paying attention to over time. By the way, don't limit yourself to just three goals. Feel free to establish as many as you see fit. But try not to have too many goals at once, or you might make it hard to reach any of them. Get on a budget. Following the establishment of your financial goals, it's crucial to implement a budgeting system. This entails more than a mental framework. It requires a concrete budget that meticulously tracks your allocations for giving, saving, and spending. Focus on financial contentment. I understand the struggle of feeling like everyone around you earns more than you do. However, Dwelling on this sentiment won't contribute positively to your financial well-being. Instead, if you aim to enhance your financial situation, prioritize cultivating a sense of financial contentment. Grant yourself permission to be satisfied with the car you drive, the place you call home, and the attire you wear. Recognize that living within your means is far more fulfilling than attempting to maintain a lifestyle beyond your financial capacity. It's essential to acknowledge the distinction between possessing wealth and merely spending money. Trying to look rich just to impress people doesn't really work in the end. Instead, opt for contentment with your financial circumstances and concentrate on gradual improvement. Get out of debt. As we've talked about this video, getting rid of debt as quickly as you can is really important. Just imagine the prospect of living a debt-free life. Picture the unparalleled freedom that accompanies never owing anyone a dime. If you feel like everyone else has more money than you, it's important to stop and think about why you feel that way. You have to remember that just because your friends have fancy cars and big houses, it doesn't mean they have more money than you. Thinking that way would be a mistake. The only thing for sure is that they spend more money on showing off than you do. Also, every moment worrying about others' money is a moment lost for improving your own. Stop comparing yourself to others and focus on making a budget, paying off debt, and starting to save and invest. If you stop worrying about seeming rich and focus on your own money, you might end up really wealthy one day. That concludes today's video. I hope it was informative and beneficial to you. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I welcome your feedback, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Lastly, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.